So hello everyone and welcome to DC's Universe, your one-stop shop for all news related to DC. And today it is officially being confirmed that the Peacemaker series is finally being wrapped up by James Gunn and Steve Arch, the uh, man who is playing the role of King Shark is also being part of this series. And we can see here the logo or the badge from the cast and crew members uh, dress that shows the name Peace Master. Though they are using this name but they are actually focusing on the main character of John Cena, Peacemaker and who will who we are seeing in this ring and they have officially confirmed that this show, show will come after the Suicide Squad release uh, on HBO Max. We all know that uh, Suicide Squad is uh, one of the movies in which uh, the you know, Peacemaker is being currently being a part of the team and he is uh, doing all the stuffs to save the world from the giant squid or starfish. And here is the actor who is playing the version of King Shark on whom the CGI is being done so I'm very much excited to see how this Peace Master series uh, actually works out and uh, how the Peacemaker series will connect to the bigger DCU and how the story will continue after the great super villain team um, movie the Suicide Squad which will release now on August 6th and, um, and directed by James Gunn himself also and we will see different characters also reprising their role in the series because this movie will be something a new <coughs> breath of air or fresh of air to TCU so I'm looking very much forward to it and I'm very much excited to see the Suicide Squad because the trailer looks absolutely perfect and I am very much a big Idris Silva and John Cena fan so can't wait for this movie and the series so now to the next news it's Batman back again so Ben Affleck's Batman is back and we can see he is back at London to shoot his part of um, the Flash movie as it is being reported and shown in the figure Ben Affleck is back and he is going back to the sets with TCU as Batman and he will uh, wear the mantle again of his own Dark Knight version and he will be playing the role of Ben Affleck's Batman the Batman from Snyderverse in the DCU along with Michael Keaton and Barry Allen the Flash so I'm very much excited because Batman is my favorite superhero from comic book and DC and I'm very much excited to see how the Ben Affleck story will connect now to the multiverse uh, after the flash movie and I, I would also like to see how Henry Cavill's version of Superman will works out as he is already mentioned in Suicide Squad so Batman and Superman returns baby and now to the next news the, the most exciting news I want to share that Black, Black Adam has finally been uh, has finally reached its last week of shooting and pre-production and everything and they have completed the shoot of Black Adam movie and it, the movie will now release in 2022 we will be having our look at our most anticipated Black Adam movie and you can see here the different posts being shared by The Rock himself, Dwayne Johnson, as Black Adam and his body looks perfectly shredded and everything looks just perfectly epic. And you can also see that Shazam, sorry not the Shazam, it will be Black Adam and you can see the darkness, the king of darkness, the hierarchy of DC universe is going to change change and I, this is also being confirmed by Shasha, the another leader of the movie that this movie will be featuring as a team of movie as they fight against the gangs of goons, the identifying gang, the unidentifying gang which is being mentioned in the DC comics. So I'm very much excited to see how this movie will load into the DCU and how it will connect the Snyder first with the DCU and how it will going to connect everything with the DC multiverse which is being set up by Black Adam and the Flash movie. So this will be the past and the future connecting together. So until next time, if you are a big DC fan like us, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel and comment on the video down below. And remember one thing, DC forever.